All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honest to the elders and our apostles, the great millstone, taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the earth, and also the breast of teeth sworn in sincerity. I'm Brother I you from the GMA Chicago branch here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And lol, and I hope it be edifying. You know, I'm just entitled this lesson, you know, one step closer. You know, I titled that lesson that way, or this lesson this way, because what? We're one step closer to the MOTB, you know, being mandated across the four corners of the, uh, of the earth, you know. And we see these certain countries doing it, which I'm going to get into. So this is from the uh, the outlookindia.com. It says Jamaica launches Jam Dex becomes first nation to legalize digital currency. Right. So for probably for a minute, you know, just like this whole um, jab that the so-called white man came out with, they might say it might be... Uh, optional but as the time goes on they go, it's going to be mandated you know and that's what this whole you know going back into the whole pandemic that's what this was all about you know because a lot of people when this thing becomes man mandated when this uh uh dorito chip becomes mandated you know i'm just saying like that you know to for you know to avoid getting this lesson taken down but once this dorito chip gets mandated it's gonna you know it's going to really test a lot of people Cause at the end of the day, this is a test that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is putting uh putting upon the earth, you know. And it says uh the Bank of Jamaica (BOJ) has legalized central bank digital currency (CBDC) in a move to deliver an alt uh an alternative to its cash-based economy. And it says the Bank of Jamaica (BOJ) has legalized central bank digital currency in a move to deliver an alter uh alternative to its cash-based economy, putting an end to the months of speculation over this lunch, right? <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's funny enough because what well, it's June. You know, you had this uh this guy Nate. You know, from the, IU, the head of IUIC. You know, it's how how you know how he's basically was saying it's no Dorito chip. You know, you know it's and look it's June and we see a lot of these things coming to pass. You know, and it says um the Islands Nation Central Bank has recognized Jam Dex as a legal. Tender thereby making the Caribbean nation the first country to uh in the world to legalize CBDC and all all about ten countries have uh actually launched CBDC including Nigeria the Bahamas with its sand dollar and several Caribbean island nations right and that's why Revelations three and I believe it's uh yeah Revelations three talks how it talks about um it's gonna come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth right so it's gonna be you're gonna see it being uh pushed in this country that country. You know, over in Europe, Canada, soon to be America, Australia. It's going to be mandated in every single country around the world, you know, because Revelation 3 speaks about it, which I'm going to actually get. Let me actually get that real quick. Uh, this is the book of Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which we know what the hour of temptation is, you know, which, the, which this uh, karagma uh, be mandated across the four corners of the world, which shall come upon the, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, which basically proves that this thing is going to be mandated in every single country around the world. And this is what Esau, you know, Esau plans to do, you know, everything is going to become digi digitalized, you know, by the way of the Dorito chip, and that's going to be uh, impl implanted, you know, in your body, the karagma. And this this is the hour of temptation, you know. This is the ultimate test, you know. You to order to keep working, you want to have to, you want to need to have this karagma. To order to eat, you're gonna need to have this karagma, you know. To order to you know have shelter around your head, you're gonna need this karagma. So any financial based things, you're gonna need this karagma to order to live in this society, you know. That's why it's called the hour of temptation, you know. This is the ultimate test that the Lord, you know, is gonna put in front of His man. But ultimately, the elect is gonna bat, uh, bypass. It's gonna they're gonna have the spirit of the Lord on them. Lord willing, we have the spirit of the Lord on us, you know, during the time of this, uh, this, uh, calamity. But, uh, let's continue. Just to basically prove that, you know, there's going to be, you know, mandated throughout the four corners of the earth. If you don't know, just to say, if you don't know that, if the, uh, the, if you don't know that the Dorito chip is the, uh, MOTB at this point, you know, you got to really check yourself, you know. It's, everything is pointing that this thing, this, uh, karagma, this Dorito chip. It's the MOTB, you know, because if you say it's not, you have to really put it into question. Then what else can it be, you know? 
a lot of these other camps saying they're sleeping with white women and all this other garbage. But it says, um, it says, according to the news reports, the Jamaican Senate has given the BOJ permission to issue Jamdex or the Jamaica Digital Exchange. Jamdex will be uh, available for domestic usage later this month, according to the Bank of Jamaica, Governor Richard Bio. So, right, we're closer than ever to this thing becoming mandated. Right, so Jamaica, as, this, as I just read, you know, Jamaica and other, uh, I think it said 10 countries, is basically doing the same thing. So everything is going to follow suit, you know. With the collapse of the dollar, everything is going to follow suit, you know. Or to have KO, you know, um, once this dollar collapse, you know, he, he is going to come in with a new solution, which is this um, uh, MOTB, this digital currency. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just, you know, you know, wrap up the article, you know, with, the, uh, with that. It's from the Outlook, uh, what's this, the Outlook uh, India.com. You know, if you can read the rest of it, you know, here's the link or here's the uh, website. But um, let's continue. This is the book of Revelation 13 and 16. It says, he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a Dorito chip or a Karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? Talking about the MOTB. You know? So it don't matter if you, you know, mighty in this society, if you're weakest in, uh, the weakest in this society, whether you be a bum on the street, a criminal in jail, or a so-called Bill Gates. They're going to, you know, require all, you know, to receive this uh, Dorito chip. This is the book of Revelations, and them is talking about the elites of this society. Revelation 13 and 17, it says, And that no man might uh, buy or sell, say, sell, save he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. You won't be able to, like I said before, you won't be able to buy and sell without this karagma. Because what? It's going to be it's going to be required to, you know, to live your so-called everyday life in this society. Whether it be buying food, you know, working, buying a car, or saving up for something, you know. This karagma is going to be mand uh, mandatory across the four corners of the uh, of the globe, which I read back in Revelations three. You know, it's going to come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. But let's continue. This is the book of Habakkuk two and three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry." <laughs> you know, going back to you know that you know that remark I said about Nate. You know, it's June. It certainly is June right now. And a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, things are coming to pass regarding the MOTB. You know, everything is set. You have to understand everything is set in this appointed time. You know, this prophecy was, you know, uh, was written, you know, 2000 plus years ago. You know, the Lord had, you know, basically laid the foundations up, you know, since the beginning. You know, how, you know, what was going to come to pass in certain times and different things like that. Everything is set in this appointed time. You know, it was a time where, you know, the kingdom of Israel was, uh, well, we was uh, uh was gonna go down as a nation. That happened, you know. We went through slavery, you know. Through, uh, we went up, we was dispersed throughout the four corners of earth, you know, through the way of slave ships. That happened already. That was set for that appointed time, you know. Um, you know, us coming together, you know, preaching this word. That was actually set for the appointed time, you know. Well, you know, the Lord raised up His men to start teaching this word, and then our elders and our apostles came up. Everything is set in this appointed time, like this MOTB, this Karagma, is set for its appointed time, and it's about time for this thing to come to pass. You know, wait for it because it will not tarry. It will surely come. Yeah, it will surely come. And we're seeing that right now by the way of these articles and by the way of the prophecies that's coming to pass. I'm going to close out with this one. This is the book of Revelation 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receiveth his mark, uh, salaki, his karagma, in his forehead or in, uh, in his hand, Verse 10, it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the, uh, into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. We know what that fire and brimstone uh, uh, is. It's those thermonuclear missiles, which is the second death, which is the lake of fire. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the angels and in the presence of the lamb. Who is the lamb? The lamb is Yahweh Shai, you know. So you're going to be, you know, tormented if you receive this uh, karagma. You know, because if you receive this karag, man, just basically tell the Lord, you know, you side with Esau, Edom, and this society and everything that goes on in the society, you know, and that's the breakdown. You know, if you receive this, uh, if you receive this karag, man, you're going to melt, you're going to melt, you know, you're going to melt slowly. So with that being said, I hope it was edifying, you know, I'm going to end it off right there. You know, this thing is coming to pass and fast.
So I won't end up by giving all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, the Bonus of the Elders and the Apostles of the Great Millstone, taught us the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the earth, and also the breast of Jesus' word and sincerity. You know, Lord, and I hope this was edifying, and Lord, and I'll come back with another lesson soon. And until next time, wah, a ba, ba, ba.